That, of course, is an excellent question, and it's the one that's sort of central to the thesis of the book. John Gottman, a writer, a researcher in New York, is the one who um, says, having done statistical studies and, and studied couples, that the positive interaction should outweigh the negative interaction by four times for the system to stay in balance. Now, he doesn't define what he means by the total interaction, and neither will I, except that you kind of know it when you feel it, that we're having a good time that's big and important as opposed to something that's small and trivial. A single moment can take a very small period of time and have a very small problem, or a small time and a large problem, or a lot of time and a small problem, or a lot of time and a large problem, vice versa. So it's hard to quantify what you mean by interaction. Let's just say that both Gottman with his research and my research uh, as well agree that it takes a whole lot more positive than negative to make things work well. Can communication help? Absolutely. Good communication habits prevent you from developing bad moments and good communication habits can, can rescue bad moments and can accentuate, uh, amplify positive moments and the bottom line is that as long as you're doing well and communicating well, you tend to continue accumulating good points and avoid the negative ones. One example, feedback. Feedback can be positive or negative. It can make you feel good about yourself or bad about yourself. Criticize or compliment. And the purpose of your feedback can be either to change somebody or get them to keep doing what they're doing. Reinforce or correct. If you're correcting somebody, you usually use some form of negative feedback the proverbial kick in the seat of the pants. Whereas if you're praising somebody and you want them to keep doing what they're doing, you say, yeah, good job, keep up the good work. You could use negative feedback to keep someone doing the same thing. You know, yeah, all right, idiot, you got it right once in a row, let's see, try for twice, but I doubt it. On the other hand, you could use positive feedback in a negative situation. I could say, you know, you're, you're, you've come a long way, this looks better and that looks better and this looks great, and all you gotta do now to make it perfect is just change this. How you choose to talk to your partner, whether you've couched things in positive terms or negative terms, adds positive or negative moments. You can have a positive moment criticizing a person if you phrase it properly. So it's a matter of your habits and it's a matter of we are willing to take a little bit of time and think about what you're going to say before you say it so that you can help people to uh, not only accept what you're criticizing or what you want changed, but to do it with a glad heart and an open spirit. That's what communication can do for you.